Greetings and welcome back to Aluris. I'm Catherine of Sky, and we kind of left off where we had an old sailor offering us a chance to go to the sea. Now, I, I did stop at this point very deliberately because our sea adventures may be quite uh, significant. So let's go ahead and uh, go with the old sailor here who looks like kind of like a cat with very fluffy beard and mustache going on here. Now, I've never gone with the diving suit, so that could really work well for us here. So let's go ahead and go to the sea. He leads you to his ship. His crew loads up for an ocean voyage. An older man sprays himself down with pirate repellent. What did you just sign up for? Borrowed ship and human crew. A pirate ship dashes in from the mists. Their crew prepares to fire on you. We can either negotiate a cessation of hostilities, which is enlightened trait, or fair cannon champion. Take a shot with the cannons. That's kind of funny. That's that's kind of why I wanted the cannon. I've never done the enlightened, though. Let's see. The pirate captain confronts you. I'm disinclined to acquiesce to your request, he says. It means no. The pirates take your ship, give you a good meal, and maroon you on an island. No! Oh, no! Oh, my God. The beautiful reefs call to you. We go to the island. No, there might be sharks. Let's go. You wade out, but stub your toe on part of the reef. No, it stings a bit, but you quickly get over the pain. All right, soft beach. This could be a great opportunity to scavenge. We could salvage for supplies or build a sandcastle. Sure, let's build a sandcastle. We'll get five karma for this. You take an hour and give a beautiful human touch to this natural beach. The beach is a little better for it. Oh, that's nice. Banana bushel. They look quite appetizing. Eat or take it with you. Let's take it with us. I don't think we need it. You grab the bananas and throw them over your back. These might come in handy later. So we got the bushel of bananas there. That's an interesting. Looks like a peach or something. Um, a shipwreck. Must have been here for some time. Let's see. Gather wood or gather food. Let's gather wood. Ow! A splinter. You spend some time gathering what you could from the ship. Just as you grab the last plank, the whole thing falls apart and floats off to the sea. Got some planks. That's nice. The more items we have, the better chances we have. Monkeys have noticed your bananas. Give them begone tree rodents. <laughs> Let's give them bananas. Ten karma for this. The monkeys are incredibly happy with your offering of bananas. They decide to join you on your adventure. Oh my god, we have monkey crew. Hey, that's great. We have a turtle companion and a monkey crew. Pathway around the... So this also hasn't happened to me before. I was expecting to go on the ship for a while, <clears throat> but we seem to have lost it. All right, do you want to go to the western shore? Let's go, or I'm fine here. Let's go. Turtle escape. It's a good thing this turtle's been following you. Right off the island, or I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. I'm gonna see what's on this western area. Eastern shore? Sure. This tree could have many uses. Could pick a coconut or construct a tree house. I'm curious about constructing a tree house. Using your talent for engineering and physics, you quickly craft a raised structure that will with all the comforts of home. A uh, soft beach. Build a sand castle or salvage for supplies. Let's just salvage here. You stumble upon a conch shell. This could probably double as an instrument. So we got a musical instrument. We already have our loot from before, I believe. And a conch shell. But it still shows only one here. Tree house. Tree home. Sweet home. Rest up. <gasps> we can rest. Wow. With no money lost. Hey. Bananas. Let's go and take it with... Try to pick up the bananas and take them with you, but all the monkeys immediately all eat all of them. No, those are our monkeys. <laughs> Dangerous looking path. This must go to the center of the island. I'm not afraid. Let's stick to the outside. I'm not afraid. The sign warned you that the most dangerous creatures were toward the center of the island. Still, you were not dissuaded. Gold mine. It must have stopped production long ago. Head in and look around, or I refuse to do caves. I love the, like, the negative. It's like, nope, nope, not a thing. It's so funny. The cave is dry. The miners left some TNT behind. You decide to take it. You never know when something is going to need blowing up. Excellent, we got another item. Metallic grate. It has some kind of padlock on it. Uh, open it, or are you kidding? There could be a monster in there. <laughs> 
<laughs> so funny. You try your best, but it won't budge. It's clearly protected with some magical force. The only thing you can make out is a padlock that asks for a series of numbers. Tropical frog. Aha, it looks poisonous. Uh, Let's fight it. Oh dear. Those remind you of something. Jungle spiders. No, fight it or run. Let's fight it. Uh, we're getting more XP. Hooray. Do you want to head back to the beach? No, let's stay here. See if we can find anything else. Uh, sure. Open the grate. Okay. Magical force. Wants numbers. Hmm. We can rest when we get back. Let's see. Fight these. Let's go back to the beach. It's time to heal up. You can back out of the jungle at a random place. I want to go... No, there might be sharks. Scavenge or supplies. Let's scavenge. So you dig around the coast. You pull up a treasure chest. You help yourself to some loot. Yay! Alright, turtle escape. Ride off the island. I'm not ready yet. I'm going to go to the, the tree house. I forgot where the tree house is. Let's go to the eastern shore. Here it is. Yay! Okay, rest up. There we go. Bananas. Let's, uh... <laughs> Take it with. Monkeys eat. Okay. Western shore. Nah, I want to go off the island, I think. This tree could have many uses. Build a campfire or pick a coconut. You know what? Pick a coconut. You telekinetically pluck the coconut and catch it. Okay, we got one. Good, good. Go diving. Yeah, let's go. Let's go diving. You wade out and quickly come upon a small school of fish. With quick thinking, you spear one and eat it. Uh, we can rest later. No. All right, turtle escape. It's a good thing this turtle's been following you. Let's ride up the island. Sea turtles! Okay, this is an achievement of some kind. You lash together reins from your own back... What? From your own... <laughs> I didn't know this about wizards. It's either wizards or humans. Has very, very long hair growing on the back. Ride the turtle off the damned island. After a day or so on the waves, a familiar old sea captain from Allurus scoops you up. Borrowed ship and a sailing ship. Hooray! Okay, we can go diving. Sure, let's dive in. Oh, changing background. We're underwater now. Kelp. You float by a long strand of kelp. We can take it. Sure. Trapped sea frog. You find an aquatic critter trapped at the bottom of a rock slide. Hmm. That doesn't sound good. Let's save it. Help it get free. You pull a few stones free and pry the small creature out. Above you, boulders grind free and tumble down, pinning your suit. You have no choice but to abandon the suit at the bottom of the crushing ocean. No! As your waterlogged mind clears, you find yourself in the arms of a merman. Oh. That's one of my favorite songs, by the way. Merman. Uh, you suddenly realize that you're breathing underwater and are comfortable in the depths. I have given you a sea blessing, he whispers, to save you. Sea blessing! Yay! We can breathe underwater now. We have also some kelp, too. The merman seems to be taking you to a large city. Wow. He floats you into the gates. Welcome, he announces, settling you down to Atlantica. The soul blade stirs. Wait, there's a whole city down here? Yeah, it's cool. Or you didn't know? <laughs> yeah, it's cool. It begs the question, the sword adds. Does that mean there are no aquatic undead? We could change that, you know. Yeah, I'm like, I'm going to go and rampage and kill all these people. Nervous king. He mumbles something about the kraken from his throne. What troubles you or just spit? What troubles you? He straightens up and explains his fears about an attack from the Krakens. There's a particularly massive creature leading them now, he says. Something needs to be done about it. We're just not sure what to do. Kraken diplomacy. Ha <laughs> ha. I will destroy them. Or maybe I'll talk to them. He glances nervously at his advisors. If you can manage that, he says, that would really be excellent. But they really are monsters, you know. Merfolk Merchant. He offers to buy your treasure for a massive coin. So, let's see how much we get. 635. That's not too bad. Shell Jeweler. You find a mermaid teaching a small crowd how to make shell jewelry. Sign me up! 
You throw a few coins in the bucket and follow along with the instructor, creating a small shell necklace that doubles as a tiny instrument. Shell ocarina. Hmm. That's nice. Uh, Alright, we can head out. Let's see what else is in the city. Merfolk Tavern! Now featuring a free subcontinental breakfast! <laughs> That's funny. We didn't need the health, but I wanted to go to the tavern. Yes! Hang out. You find one of the elder merfolk lamenting the decay of their elemental crystal. A new one needs to be retrieved, or the city will need to be abandoned soon. We desperately need a new one. I'll find one. Suspicious mermaid. A young lady glances around and darts down an alley. Follow her or leave it. Let's follow her. You duck into the alleyway after her. When you catch up, you find that she's in the middle of transforming into a massive were shark. Whoa, that's just scary. The young mermaid has transformed to a terrible were shark. Eh. Fight it or guards. Let's call the guards. You run out of the alley, taking a couple of bites and find a patrol of guards. They quickly slay the creature. Afterwards, they chastise you for tracking down such a dangerous beast you weren't ready to face. Well, she was cute. I just wanted to follow her. Uh, swim out or just keep swimming. I want to get more health back. Curious child. He asks if he can have anything from the outside world. What do we have? Yeti fur? Yeah, let's do yeti fur. You hand him the yeti fur you collected in the tundra. He seems amazed by it. Tattered old net. You find an old merman trying to patch the net. Let's help help him with that. You work with the old fisherman for a while, repairing the net. He thanks you, carrying it off. Tavern. Yes, get a room. We have health again. Yeah, hang out. Let's see. You're pulled aside by a well-dressed merfolk gentleman that explains he's a collector of rare and exotic fish. Okay. He has a coin if you have fish. All right. I will find them. He smiles and explains that there are three special fish he wants to find. One of them is on the sea floor, another is near the surface, and the third lives in rivers. Okay. Uh, I think we can swim out now and see what else we can find here. <gasps> Whoa. Great unspeakable horror. What the heck is this? As you float in the dark, the eye of an ancient god blinks open. It offers power. Hey. Sure, I'll take it. Oh no! <laughs> you shall be my agent of change upon the world. The massive voice echoes. In a flash of dark purple, you find yourself on the seafloor, unable to explain what you saw. Okay, so we got magical powers. We already had magical powers. And we also got corrupted. No! Our karma went down massively as well. That's not ideal. I guess we can go back to the city. Help the person here. Um, curious child. We're actually out of stuff. Sorry. Okay, we can get a room, but we're corrupted now. So it costs us, I believe it costs us more money. The innkeeper thinks you look like trouble. You slip him some extra coin and he sneaks you into one of the worst rooms. Yeah, not good. Okay, the barkeep pulls you into a side room and explains that the tavern basement has a sea rat problem. If you could quietly handle them, he'd pay you for the discretion. Yeah, on the surface, they also have regular rats. Here they have sea rats. Okay, fight them. Oh no! Jeez. Okay. I would really like to get well again. Sorry, I don't have stuff. Help this person. Corrupted. More money. Expensive. Okay. Oh, and more rats. You know what? We're going to skip that because otherwise we're going to have to do the, the whole healing thing again. Oh, an exotic fish. It's one of the guy's special fish. Let's hold it. You reach out with magic and catch it with a hold monster. You easily recover the paralyzed creature before the spell wears off. All right. Exotic fish number one. Hooray. You find a cavern full of knickknacks aplenty. Let's rest up and heal, or looting time. We don't need to rest, so let's go. You find a particularly fancy dining set on one of the rocky shelves. Cool. Deep trench. Who knows its true depth? Let's head in. You descend slowly into the trench. It gets darker and darker. Suddenly, a massive kraken appears before you. He demands to know your purpose. You can either attack or 
Merfolk diplomat, I seek peace with your kind. You explained that you were sent by the Merfolk to negotiate the terms of an armistice. The Traken takes a hostile composure. You speak for the murderers of my kind. They had no idea what they were doing, or what do you mean murderers? Surely the merfolk told you about how they slay krakens for pleasure. They even use krakens as a way to train their young to kill. I will not appease friends of murderers. Very angry kraken is preparing to strike. Bring it on, slimeball. I didn't come here to fight. Then be gone. You dare ask for peace. The kraken grabs you and throws you back out of the trench. Just know you are now forever an enemy of the Kraken. No, but I want your tentacles. All right, <laughs> let's go back to Atlantica. Head in. Hey, everyone. Get a room. Yeah. All right, deals. Let's hang out. Rats. No, thanks. No, I'm sorry. I don't have anything else. Go away, child. Let's help the man. Repairing nets. Let's see, is there anything else? I guess we can go here again and try to stick around. No, some more sea rats. Jeez, no, go away, child. Go away, child. I guess we have to head out. Underwater treasure. You stumble upon some old ruins littered with treasure chests. You can grab a treasure chest. Yeah, let's do it. You peek in one of the chests. A baby kraken leaps out, slapping you as it floats away. Hey! Insult to injury. <laughs> Deep trench. There are more tentacles down here. Let's go. All right. The kraken is back. I seek peace or just attack? I guess we could just attack him. I've done this before. Oh no! The krakens are shocked by this sudden act of violence. They prepare themselves. Hey, you declared me an enemy forever. Don't be shocked. All right, I don't know if we're strong enough to kill this, but we can try. Oh, uh, wait. Attack? Let's wait. Oh, uh, wait. The time for waiting is over, adventurer. You shall not leave here. Right. Okay, so here is the health bar here. Oh no! Tentacles! The kra kraken launches its tentacles at you. I like how it's already like a sushi thing. <laughs> Tentacles are good though. Anyway, uh, here we have the health bar of the Kraken up here. We have two things. Wow, soul blade slice or holy hand grenade. Suck on this. Let's go with soul blade slice. You use your soul blade to relieve the Kraken of one of its tentacles. <laughs> All right. We have damage to the Kraken. The Kraken siphons water at you very rapidly. Flying boulder. Oh no. Or defensive positions. Let's go. What is this flying boulder? Oh no. The boulder you threw t into the air earlier. Oh. <laughs> that was the aerodynamic stone, I think, that we picked up earlier. Oh my god. Comes crashing down through the water and pins the kraken to the floor, rendering him immobilized. More tentacles. Holy hand grenade or soul blade. Let's go soul blade again. You use your soul blade to relieve the kraken of one of its tentacles. Kraken defeated. You stand over a fairly disarmed giant squid. The remaining kraken swim away. Yeah. Huzzah or huzzah. Yep. Great tentacles. Ha! <laughs> that was a great achievement. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Kelador would very much tease me about this. You should, if you if you have a chance, watch his um, <clears throat> godhood um uh, series there 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 might be some slight references to tentacles in there and as well as a an embarrassed chaos anyway swim away victorious i should tell the merfolk of this triumph all right we have a crab battle knife is useless all right well we can still fight it get a little bit of xp naga a darting form reveals itself to be a deadly deadly snake lizard of the sea sure we'll fight it whoa lots of uh yeah that Let's get rest up and heal. Sure. Old ruins. Let's grab a treasure chest. Sure. No. You peek in one of the chests. It's full of ancient treasure. You grab one and swim along with it. Great. All right, Lentica. Yay, let's go in. Okay. Um, offers to buy your treasure for massive coin. We'll take it. 318. That's not too bad. Curious child. We don't actually have anything for him. Okay, you return to the city victorious. I have slain the beast. 
The merfolk king meets you in the plaza, and you recount your battle with the creature. He blinks, then orders you paid, and declares a holiday in your honor. Wow, 4,000 gold. That's pretty decent. We also have much more health now. Atlantica rank up. The people of Atlantica honor you. Yay! Woo! Let's go to the tavern. <laughs> yeah, it's going to cost us still. Yep. All right, let's find the deals. Okay, rats in the basement. We'll stay for another round. Let's go this way. Sushi stand. <laughs> There's a group of merfolk handing out sushi almost for free. Yeah, I'll take some. Merman patching up a net. Okay, that's fine. I don't know why this curious child keeps wanting stuff from me. Uh, we'll go to the inn just to see the deals. No, thanks. Nothing here, really? Wow, all right. Um, no thanks. We have that already. Curious child, go away. Tattered net, yeah, sure. No. No. Yes, okay, let's just head out then. I don't know what else is out here. A knife is useless against these. Let's just go swim back up. Let's swim back up. Pirate attack. A pirate ship dashes in from the mists. Their crew prepares to fire on you. Um, let's take a shot. We know what happens if we negotiate a cessation of hostilities. Yes, no. All right. With your training at the fair, cannons are yours to command. A few well-placed shots smash the pirate ship apart. They yar their last yargs as they sink to their watery grave. What's this fish? It's one of the guy's special fish. Hey, cast the nets! Woohoo! Try to explain your urgency to the crew, but they're too buzzy, busy monkeying around. No, I missed the fish! No, I want that fish back. Um, no. Doesn't look good to me. Ah, floating shipwreck. Let's... A... Board. As you pillage the wreck, a ghostly figure emerges from the wall. It seems mournful and terrifying. Forlorn Watchman, the mournful spirit is upon you. You can do the sight, wait, stop, or soul blade, fight. Let's wait, stop. Using your sight, you converse with the wraith. It explains the tragic destruction of their vessel at the hands of a traitor. You get the impression you'll recognize him if you see him. Okay. On the horizon is a Lurus. Um, no, I want to stay out in the ocean. I want to catch that fish. School of fish. The ship passes over a delectable school of fish. Let's cast the nets. You deploy a net and scoop up some of the school. With some quick seasoning, they make a great snack. Oh, Siren Island. You hear a playful yet dangerous melody from a nearby island. Um, sail up and investigate. Well, we should be immune to this. <laughs> you just feel like you need to see what's happening over there. As you float closer, your world fades to black as you're pulled underwater. Sometime later, you flop onto the shore of an island. No, we're back on the island again. All right, we're on the island. I'll swim away. Well, I'm marooned. Damn. This could be a great opportunity to scavenge. Uh -huh. Salvage supplies. Ah, we dig up an old tattered map with some kind of riddle on it. Treasure map. Cool. Woohoo. How mysterious. Read the map or flip it over and look on the back. Uh, I want to look on the back. There's a riddle embossed into the back. If ye loot, ye shall seek. Head to the place far to the east. Okay. Treehouse. Let's rest up. It doesn't cost us anything. Uh, let's say I'm not ready for this. No, I don't want to go to the east. I and mean, I want to stay in the east, I think. Large tree. Build a campfire. Let's enjoy its majesty. What a nice tree. Cool. Banana bushel. Let's eat this. Because we know that the monkeys are going to eat it otherwise. Um, beautiful reefs. No, there might be sharks. Center. Nope. If ye loot, ye shall seek. Right? So let's salvage. Salvage. All right. We got another treasure chest. Nope. I'm fine here. I'm fine. Build a campfire. Let's try building a camp. Wow. Health. Good. Cooking up meat we found. Alright, banana bushel. Can't... Oh, we can actually take it. Apparently, did we lose the monkeys? Did we lose that monkey group? I wonder if we did. We might have. 
Okay, well, let's just grab the monkeys. Yep, give them your bananas. Yay, they're going to join us. Hooray. Yep, I guess we lost them somewhere. I don't remember where that was. Uh, let's go. Let's go diving. You find a clam with a pearl larger than any you've ever seen. Ah, oh, I wonder. Oh, look at that pearl. Attack the clam or the clam can keep its pearl. Let's attack the clam. Why not? Clam spits it out and then siphons away. It's quite fearful of your hostility. I probably should have left it. That's that's annoying. I should have I should have left it. Where I want to get this treasure thing going on. Let's see. The map does it it doesn't tell us what it says. You can't click on these things. Build a sand castle. Let's try building a sand castle. Salvaging didn't work last time. I guess we can escape. I don't know. Let's just try one more round of stuff. Let's go to the western shore. Maybe it's there. Treasure chest? Yeah, let's get the loot. Small spiders come out. Oh no, you think the treasure map would lead to treasure. How cliche. A note reads on the bottom. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so I was confused there because it said go to the east. And this was west, actually. Do you want to go to the eastern shore? Yeah, let's go. Let's go to... Yeah, let's build a campfire. Get this, and then we'll we're ready to go, actually. Take it with. Monkeys eat. That's fine. Nope. 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 No, we want to escape. Yeah, we can pick a coconut. Sure. Alright, right off the island. Okay. <laughs> this is... <laughs> the hair. <laughs> I'm, I'm highly amused by this. Fishing. Yeah, cast the nets. Okay, great. No, I'm not... I don't want to do this. I want to find that fish. Grab supplies? Medical supplies. Nice. <gasps> Yay! Monkey crew, cast the nets! Or do we just dive in? Let's try this again. No! You tried to explain the urgency to the crew, but they're too busy monkeying around. No! Not ready! No, 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 oh no. Sail away, quick! You know not to mess with mermaids. No kidding! Alright. School of fish, no. Give us the thing we want. Medical supplies go away. No, Alluris. Fish, just dive in. Whew. You take your chances with this one solo and swim after the fish. Luckily, you happen to hit the water nearby and catch it before it has a chance to swim away. Excellent. I guess we're going to have to go to the shore now, to the river, to get another fish. Okay, go away. Alluris, yay! Let's go. Sail on home. Okay, we are back on dry land. It looks like your sailing ship. You find your ship tied up in the Allurus docks. We can say, not today. Town merchant. We can buy, sell our treasure. Let's sell it. Not very much, even for that giant pearl. Aye. Okay, old sailor. Nah. Let's go later. Okay. Royal castle. Let's go see if there's anything here. Nope, we have no special things over here. Let's go and see what's at the tavern here. Yeah, hang out. A farmer charges into the tavern screaming about a fallen star in the forest. Someone should retrieve it. Uh, sure. Let's head out and find this fallen star. Nope, let's go out of here. Mean bird. Sure, let's fight it. A river. Hey, go fishing. All you find is worthless junk. No! Okay, mountains we don't want. Dunes, no. No. Bradford, no. No, 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 no. Sure, let's kill these. Hunting? Sure, we'll hunt. Nothing too good to eat. Fruit cart? Sure, oh, I'm already full. Oh, I forgot. I thought that was a basket one. Okay, let's fight this bird. Go away. Aha, tree in the road. Turtle companion, tie the log to your turtle. <laughs> That's funny. Now we don't tie it to the... the, the um. The horse anymore takes about as long as you'd expect but the log gets cleared from the road <laughs> that's quite funny where is this thing that i need to find brightly colored berries we're not going to eat those because we know they're poisonous let's get take the basket with us river go fishing oh <gasps> you pull in your rod and find an extremely rare fish clinging to the end what luck oh <gasps> we have all three exotic fish now I guess we should go back to Atlantica. You know what? And I think this is probably a good time to stop because we could go back to Allurus and go 
back. But we've kind of run out of time for the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed um, this uh, uh, episode. Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.